Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick, and in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the calendar in your Zoho CRM system. So once we log into our Zoho CRM system, of course we'll come to the home screen. Now from here, we want to go to the tab in the top right hand corner and select the calendar icon. Once we select the calendar icon, we'll pre be presented with a small calendar window in which you can see the days of that particular month. Any date that has an underline uh, means that there is an event on a day. Uh, and we can select any day that, to, um, to go to the full screen calendar. I'm going to select the 15th, which just so happens to be an underlined day. Um, and from here, we can see that that event that I referred to is at 10 a.m. Now, this is obviously a very normal calendar. Um, and I'm sure you're all used to these. We've got our days, weeks and month view options, if we so wish. And then we've got the create button on the right to create a new event. So when we press the create button, we're greeted with three options to create a meeting, a phone call or mark ourselves as unavailable. Um, of course, a meeting and call are very obvious. Uh, marking yourself as unavailable would be if you were on holiday or annual leave, for example. We've also got the options button. Now, on the options button, we're able to import um, from a calendar into the Zoho CRM system, export from the calendar out of the Zoho CRM system. Uh, we could go to a date if we so wish. So if we press that button, we'll be able to find a date in the uh, in the future and then just skip over to that date, which could be a very useful tool. Um, and we've also got the preferences button. So if we press the preferences button, we're greeted with this pop up tab that allows us to select vet or make certain changes to our calendar. You can select the days in week view, whether that be all days or exclude cl closed days. So it excludes the days that your particular business is closed. Uh, obviously, that's defined inside of the Zoho CRM system. You can select, select the day your week starts on, um, the start time, uh, the end time, uh, weekly holiday one, and weekly holiday two. So obviously Saturday and Sunday for most people. However, that might change for various people if they, if they work weekends and don't work at during point, different points in the week. Um, we can change our activity types when creating a new meeting. So let's say we only wanted to be able to create meetings. We could remove calls or then add calls and then remove meetings and add meetings as we so wish. Um, we can set the default meeting duration and the default call duration. So I'll just show you the options quickly. Um, and then also we can hide meetings 30 days after they've ended. So we can select that and we can also change the number of days if we so wish. And we can select to hide decline meetings. So if you decline to attend, attend a particular meeting, it won't show up in the calendar. We've also got Zoho meeting audio preferences, which you can change. Um, reminders for any event, which will set uh, 15 minutes before, or you can change that as you so wish. And then all day meetings again, you can change those. And then you can turn off reminder via email. So as I'm sure you know, when an event is coming up, you get an email from Zoho to say that the event is going to be happening. But of course, you can turn those off if you so, wi so wish. And you can also notify or turn off notify me when our, a meeting is assigned to me. So lots of different options. Now, of course, you're thinking this is just a normal calendar. But one really useful tool that there is on the Zoho CRM calendar is if we go to the top left here, we can change the view. And the view allows us to see... Of course, my meetings and calls. We're also able to see all users' meetings and calls and users. Now that is really useful because obviously it allows us to see what other users inside the Zoho CRM system are doing, what they've booked um, and when are suitable times. So if we select all users, you'll be able to see all the users and all their, um, all their different events throughout the day and week and month. But another really key feature is we can just select users and then we can search a particular user that we would like to see the calendar for and see their events for. So, you know, the calendars is a great tool inside the Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use the calendar in your Zoho CRM system. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. Uh, my details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.